Morning, Michael. So obviously it's a quick turnaround from the win on Saturday. Uh, just first of all, did everybody come through that game all right? Yeah, they seem to have, yeah. Um, uh, Brennan had a little bit of a knock on his ankle that he'd had previously um, for the Aki game just before he scored, uh, so just after he scored the goal. But um, yeah, it seems that, um, yeah, hopefully we, we, we've got through the game. Um, we're pretty much full strength as we can be, uh, albeit obviously the numbers are still quite low. And when it is a quick turnaround like this, Saturday, Tuesday, and with there being a long trip involved as well, how's preparation time affected? Yeah, I mean, it always does. Um, you know, the Saturday to Tuesday one. I think when it's Tuesday to Saturday, you've got that extra day or so uh, to try and, you know, put things in place. But I think it helps on the back of a win. There's no doubt about it. Um, obviously, from a confidence point of view, you know, we're keeping the momentum going. That was my real concern when the... Gillingham game was called off, that we'd lose a little bit of momentum going into Saturday's game. And I must admit, first half, I thought we looked like a side that had not played for 10 days or so. Um, but then we got going in the second half and played well. And we're going to have to play at our best or close to our best to try and win on Tuesday. And when you are in form, like you say, does Saturday, Tuesday almost help so you can keep that momentum going? Yeah, absolutely. And uh, yeah, like I say, that, that's why we were desperate to try and play the Gillingham game and keep the games coming thick and fast because, you know, when you're playing well and there's confidence within the group, you, you want to keep playing. And um, in terms of the preparation between games, uh, most of our pre preparation was done and the players will tell you in pre season uh, and in the early parts of the season because we had an opportunity to implement our style, our patterns of play, how we want to approach the game. And I think that's shown it for the majority of the season. And turning attention to tomorrow night, obviously Portsmouth had that defeat on Saturday at home to Hull. I think that result will impact their approach to the game. And does playing them off the back of that kind of play in your favour or play against you, do you think? Probably well, we find out in the first 20 minutes on, on, on Tuesday. Um, but even losing the game... Um, there's no doubt about that, you know, after the run that they've been on, not, not conceding a goal, um, you know, that, that will hurt them to, to lose 4 0 at home. And I, I'm expecting a backlash in that first 20 minutes, especially on Tuesday. Um, we're going to have to come out of the traps and match them and compete. If not, we'll, you know, we'll find ourselves a goal or two down because they've got a lot of experienced players within that group. But within that group as well, they've got some really, really talented strikers and forward players. Um, who do ever so well for them. So, yeah, it, it's it's probably going to go against us in terms of, you know, if it was a 1 0, you know, they might accept, right, okay, we've been on a run, a good run, let's go on to the next game and get a, get a bounce back. But to lose 4 0, obviously, they're going to be hurting and smarting, and uh, we just got to make sure we're ready for it. And in the return fixture against Portsmouth at the LNAR Stadium two or three months ago, I think it's fair to say that Portsmouth were probably the better side and deserved winners. What's changed in that time to make you think that there'll be a different outcome tomorrow? The team that will start tomorrow. And that is no like disrespect to the team that started against Porter further on in the season, but uh, we were a little bit decimated with injuries to key, key players. Um, when you look at, um, certainly, you know, that little triangle in terms of the two centre halves and, and um, you know, our number four, you know, we had Liam Brickup missing on the evening. Um, Joe Walsh and, and uh, Lewis Montsman have, have had a partnership going prior to that Portsmouth game. They were both missing in that game as well. Um, now, obviously, you know, we've got two experienced centre-hearts Adam Jackson Joe Walsh available for tomorrow. We've also got Liam Brickup available tomorrow, who obviously is key for us. So, um, yeah, it, it'll be a very, very different outfit in terms of what Portsmouth are going to come up against. Um, but at the same time, you know, it'll be a good indication if that we're more than capable of staying where we are or, you know, at this moment in time, um, you know, we're in a position that, you know, we're, we're only there because it's, you know, a situation where we're halfway through the season. And, and I think from our point of view, we've just got to make sure that we stay consistent as we have done already. And the three players you mentioned there, Michael, Liam Bridcutt, Adam Jackson and Joe Walsh, probably three of the oldest or most experienced players in the squad. 
are players like that especially key in fixtures such as this away from home against you know a, a, ta- a team in and around you at the top of the table? Yeah, <clears throat> definitely they're going to be massive because it's um, regardless of fans being in the stadium or not, it is a difficult place to go. Um, you know, as we've said, you know, before Saturday's defeat to Hull, they were in fine form. Portsmouth, obviously, you know, five or six straight wins in in all competitions and not conceding a goal says everything that you need to know about Kenny's side. And we're going to need obviously those three to be really at it tomorrow and, and help the young players. Um, and if they do, and we can gain confidence by starting the game well, then you know we are more than capable of going on and winning. And starting tomorrow, we've got a run of games, including the likes of obviously Portsmouth, Hull, Doncaster, Accrington, all teams that are in and around you at the top of the table. Does it feel like the start of a really potentially significant run of games? Yeah, I think it does. You know, there's no getting away from that. It'd be silly to try and sort of bat that one away. The reality is, if if we get enough positive results over the next four or five games, it's going to be very, very difficult for me to try and play down something. Whereas if we you know, don't get positive results and we lose four or five in the bounce, all of a sudden it's like, well, you know, we were up there for a while, but were we worthy? Who knows? Um, all I can say is that the lads have been great so far. We're, we're way ahead and, and um, much further along in terms of development than what I thought it would be. In terms of targets, we're way ahead of our points target at this moment in time. But because we are, and because we're tasting what we're tasting at the minute, we want to try and stay there as long as we possibly can. And why do you think that is? Why are you, why are you so far ahead of where you thought you'd be at this time of the season? What do you put that down to? Um, a lot of hard work, um, the ability of the players to sort of take information on what we want and then obviously go and execute it. Um, and at the same time, there was a little bit of unknown at the start of the season. So there was a little bit of unknown of, you know, how well we, how, sorry, how quickly we've gelled, but how um, strong the league is going to be and how strong the opposition uh, are going to be. Uh, probably gives you a good indication that we've recruited well and we've been quite smart and cute and doing that well. Um, but yeah, there's loads and loads of factors, but I think it's one of them where, when you're a club, say at the start of the season like we were, and we, you know, had one season back in League One for the first time in 20 odd years, I think you just got to go right. Okay, realistically, you know, where can we finish? And our target was to try and make sure that we finished in the top half of the table, and I think that was a realistic one then because you know ultimately we were what 14, 15 last season, and um, we were very new. As it happened, you know. Uh, like I say, the players have gelled quite quite well and um, took the information on board. And I think um, you know there's a there's a lot of hard work that's gone into getting where we are. So we don't really want to step away from that. And Portsmouth, obviously, a team you've managed previously. Does that provide any extra sort of bite or impetus for you personally going into the game? Yes and no. I mean, I, I've come up against them many times now. Um, I was very very fortunate the, the games that came up against them for Oxford, because we won most of them. Um, so, uh, whereas obviously, you know, I've had a couple of defeats so far. Um, as Lincoln manager to Portsmouth, uh, I thought the first one down at their place last season, I thought we were very good and we were more than worthy at least a point, possibly three points. And then, like I say, we got well turned over early on in the season at, at the Sinsel. So, um, yeah, let, let, let's see how it goes. But I, I'm not, not thinking too much into that. It was a long time ago now and obviously, yeah, I'm looking forward to trying to get three points for Lincoln. And finally, just a quick word, <clears throat> excuse me, on the draw that happened on Saturday night away at Hull uh, in the next round of the Papa John's. What's your reaction to that draw, Michael? Well, it's probably the most difficult. We've got the most difficult tie, haven't we? You know, away to the, well, if you look at it in terms of league, etc., we've got the toughest draw because we're playing away to the, the team that are highest uh, placed in, in the competition. Um, Having said that, um, it's a great opportunity because I said to the players probably two or three games ago, the reality is this is one competition that every single team that enters it has probably got a good chance of winning it and probably think they can win it. Uh, you know, if they get a little bit of luck, play well at certain times. So you've got to go and beat the best teams in the competition to win the competition at times. And um, yeah, Hull are in on fantastic form. It's going to be very, very difficult, but we're more than capable of doing it.